Hello. You're looking at a mesa in uh, New Mexico, kind of north central New Mexico. I'm east of Las Vegas and I'm west of Tremontina on Highway 104. This mesa on the top of it is an airstrip that's owned by the Church of Spiritual Technology, which is a branch of Scientology. The goal of the Church of Spiritual Technology is to preserve the tech for thousands and thousands of years. The way they're doing that is in uh, vaults. On, one is on this property, um, on the north side of the airstrip that's at the top of this mesa. Um, anyway, hello. The po point of my uh, stopping here and making this recording is that there's problems with what's in there. But first, okay, there's three uh, places, Petrolia, California, Twin Peaks, California, uh, here near Tremontina, New Mexico, are all places that are preserving the tech uh, Hubbard uh, in these vaults. That, if you go on the north side of this airstrip, go down a zigzag road about halfway, there's like a building stuck to the side of the hill. Inside that is a vault door, like a bank vault door. You open that and uh, there's a tunnel that goes back about 150 feet and then it splits into a Y and goes back another 150 feet or so. That's where Hubbard's teachings are, are kept uh, in, uh, you know, special nickel plated recordings, records with, you know, you can play with a stylus. <clears throat> There's uh, titanium boxes filled with argon, and in those are the you know non-acidic cloth writings of uh, L. Ron Hubbard to be preserved for in case there's a nuclear holocaust or something that wipes most of us out. Future generations can find these, somehow break into the vault, first somehow find them, but they have those big circles. Uh, the CST logo is up there on the north side of this uh, as well, and also in uh, uh, California. So. Uh, they, they somehow find the vault, somehow break into the vault. Uh, maybe they left the, the, you know, the way to get in the vault a key or something. Um, and then somehow read English and somehow know uh, how, to, how to use the tech to, to re, uh, recreate it. Anyway, uh, this was like a over a hundred million dollar project to preserve the tech. It finished in about 1992. There's about 5,000 acres here, so I can't get much closer to, to show you anything. Um, 1992, right? So 2007, David Miscavige, in a speech, says, Well, the tech is wrong. Sorry. Uh, chapters were in wrong order. Transcriptions were wrong. All kinds of problems. So what we're going to have to do is um, sell you new books that are the corrected versions of the books. It, and in fact, you have to have these new books to KSW, Keep Scientology Working. Miscavige said that. So now my question is, what, what about these books? These were done in like 1992, so they're incorrect. So they're preserving for thousands of years, spent $100 million, the incorrect tech for the future generations. Now, are they going to fix these? That's going to take millions of dollars, you know, again, uh, to fix all this up. Or if they don't, now here's the trick. If they don't fix these, they've either abandoned the future generations and their project, or there's maybe, here's my theory, maybe there's something else in those vaults besides, you know, maybe that's not their original actual purpose. Maybe there's something else <coughs> in those vaults. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I read OT3, now I'm dying. Um, it's just a theory of mine. Who has been in these vaults? Name me an ex-member that's ever been inside these vaults. Uh, I don't know of any. So, just something to think about. <laughs>